Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we will be doing a behind the scenes of what really happens on just a typical leg day, lifting, booty building, you know what I'm talking about. But first things first, it is very important to activate the glutes, make sure your blood is flowing, everything's rolling. And before we actually started doing these glute activation workouts, we actually went on and stretched, we rolled, it's very important that you stretch out your muscles in order for your muscle to grow. And as you guys can see here, I am doing a little swirlies. Swirl, swirl, swirl. And then we do on the other side. As you guys can see, Nick over there is doing side kicks. Just making sure our glutes are pumped and ready to start working. Before we start adding weight, we actually just warm up simply with the bar. We do about one to two sets of six to eight reps and just focus on the movements and then we begin to add weight unless you've been squatting for years and can squat like super heavy and can actually warm up with a 45 then good for you but if you want to be safe and careful then we just basically start off with the bar. And then we, right here, we have added 25. I'm used to adding 35, but it's okay. You know, as long as you guys are going, slowly moving up, that is very important. So, as you guys can see, I'm actually using my Adidas Powerlift shoes. Um, usually, I squat with Converse or my Vans, anything that's just flat. So, it's kind of a little different because... These shoes have a little heel. But anyways, it's important to keep our heels to the ground. Make sure we keep our back straight and we're basically sitting down. And as you guys can see, I am very flexible in terms of going ass to the grass because I stretch. So that's why it's very important. So depending on your goal, usually when you are trying to go heavier, you start to decrease the amount of reps and you focus more on lifting the actual weight. So right here we see that Nick is only going to squat one squat because he still has one more rep to go and it's going to be heavier. So that's very important to keep in mind that you're not going to be doing heavy squats like 8 to 10 unless you're like super hella strong. But come on, we're just starting. We're getting there. We're getting there, okay? So right here, I am going to squat 185, and that's actually my PR. I've already hit it, but every day is different, guys, and not every day are you going to squat your best. So as you guys can see, sometimes you just have to be real with yourself and know your gut feeling. Oh, not happening. So it's normal, you know, you get a little bit angry, annoyed. It's life. And right here, obviously, <sighs> same thing. I couldn't do it. And sometimes you just got to stop being too proud and just, you know, be careful with your body. Moving on to the next workout. This is also a staple in our leg days. And these are called sumo deadlifts. 
So basically, when you are trying to do a deadlift, it's very important that you also keep your back straight, that you are pushing with your legs and not your back because we don't want to hurt our backs. And it's very important that you're focused and yeah. So if you're not lifting super heavy then you can actually focus right here on the glute movements and actually focusing more on the muscle and squeezing at the top as opposed to when you're lifting heavier you're kind of just doing the movement and trying to pull heavy um, right here as you guys can see it's very important I'm doing sumo deadlifts so therefore my feet are outwards um, and I'm Squatting, keeping my back straight, and going down and up, squeezing the glutes, very important. Ended up kind of hurting my back a little, so I can't really do much movement. So we're gonna go and do like machines and stuff. But other than that, like, I don't know. I don't know how I feel, but yeah, let's get into the next workout. Yeah. But on the other hand, babe did good. Huh, babe? You did good? Are you proud of yourself? Yeah? You felt like you you went as hard as hard as you could have? No, no, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind it. Taking care of myself. Huh? Taking care of myself. Huh? Taking care of myself. Taking care of himself. I am too, that's why I stopped. It can be kind of annoying when you're like you all I don't know. Let's get into the rest of this workout, okay? Moving on to the hamstring curls. I usually like to do this movement a little slower just so I can feel it more and actually feel the hamstring pump. So as you guys can see, when I'm going back, I, I'm trying to go a little slower and actually feel the squeeze as I go back. Squeeze and squeeze. Yep, that's the face you should be making. For these leg extensions is really important that we're not swinging around the weight but that we actually hold for a split second at the top and squeeze the quads in order to make that engagement and that mind muscle connection and last but not least you guys already know calf races guys let's just not neglect our calves period <music> Water, babe. Look, 
for the games. This is how I make wings. Rebuild strength, baby! Damn, it's really hot. Are you dying? I'm dying of you. Okay, yeah. Let me do a cool like. Oh, I think I put a lot, a lot of water on this. <laughs> Lit. All right, guys. Well, that's it for our workout video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Yeah. Have a nice day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's dip. We out this. <laughs>